Greetings, folks. This is Clarence A. Mason, and I, I want to talk to you a little bit about this upcoming election and the tricks of the Democrats to keep us all tied up in knots and worried. That's what they do, folks. So let me let me explain to you all the tension you're feeling right now, all the stress you're feeling right now. I think most of it comes from you trying to convince Democrats that they are wrong. Democrats know they're wrong. They know it's a lie. They prefer the lie. They reject the truth knowing that it is true, and they accept the lie knowing it's a lie. It's very difficult for us to understand that because we prefer the truth. And we think no one would actually know the truth, understand the truth, but still follow the lie. We think no one would do that. No one would understand the truth is the truth and not follow it. So we spend our time trying to convince these people and argue and debate all their little silly causes, thinking, hoping that one day we will reach them and clear their minds. But all we get is frustration, upset stomach, irritation, and nothing gets done. Because, see, folks, they know it is true. So, therefore, let's stop going to the abused woman and talk about abuse. Let's stop going to the prostitute and talk about prostitution is bad. Let's not go to a drug dealer and say, hey, you know, you shouldn't be using drugs. They, they know that. Democrats understand something. They understand that they preach the culture. They don't preach politics. They don't talk about whether a, a socialist is good or a Democrat is bad. They talk about the issues. They talk about big business, big government. They talk about whether we're going to uh, control the big oil companies who are taking advantage of us, the big pharmaceutical companies taking advantage of us. They talk about that in schools, in entertainment, and in news. They talk about how unfair it is that you don't have anything and everybody else has something. we got to tax those. they got to pay their fair share. Well, once they get into the system, once the population chews on that, they internalize it. It becomes what they believe. And by their belief, they vote that way. They support people who think that way. They believe big business is bad. Corporations are bad. They believe that pharmaceutical companies are evil. They believe that all companies are killing the environment. They believe it because they were told that culturally. <clears throat> we respond politically. So folks, it doesn't matter that Biden and Buttigieg and you know, Bernie Sanders is catering and pandering to black people. It doesn't matter they show up every election and say, we're going to do this for you. They always say the same thing. We're going to fight for you. We're going to fight for you. It doesn't matter that they, they've been lying for 60 years. It doesn't matter that they're insecure. It's insincere. It doesn't matter. Let's stop arguing that point. Hey, they're lying to you. Hey, what have they done the last 50 years? Let's start arguing what we're going to do, what we have been doing. See, programs are great for Democrats because they get paid with, with the programs. Black folks still stay poor. At least those black folks living in Democratic-controlled cities live poor. The rest of us black folks are middle class. 75% of black people are middle class. Uh, but almost 100% of black folks in Democrat control are, are poverty. But let's start talking about the economic advantages, opportunities available. Let's start talking about the chances for you to own your own business or get a job you can move out to ghetto. See, Democrats do not want prosperity. They want dependency. So let's stop the politics. Let's go talk to our neighbors about the issues, culture. Let's start describing the American culture, the American privilege, not white privilege. Let's start talking about the chance of us all becoming Americans, not a hyphenated American. Let's start talking about the opportunities you have no matter where you are in life if you apply yourself to the right culture. There is a culture of success. There's a culture of failure. There is a culture of success and a culture of failure. They hate the rich because the rich don't need them. They hate success because successful people don't cater to them. They hate Prosperity, because if you're prosperous, you're independent and you're free. The Democratic Party is the party of slavery. It's the party of misery. It's the party of feudalism. It's the party of, of that's what they do, folks. So let's stop fighting the old spirit of the Democratic Party, the spirit of, 
of slavery and the spirit of the anti-civil rights movement, the spirit that went to war to control their slaves. Let's stop talking about them. Let's start talking about America, why we're the greatest country on the planet, why everyone in America is better off anywhere else on this planet. Let's start talking that. Let them argue with that. Because the truth between the lies will always bring back something, folks. So let's not let them, this election cycle, get us tied up and arguing about black folks and white folks and what they've done for who, who, who they've done it for. It doesn't matter. What matters is, do you belong to the American culture or the culture of failure? This is Mason Weaver. Stay right or be left. Eternity is a long time to be wrong.